Auzubillahiminashaitwanirajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Honorable Chief Justice and my brother judges Attorney General of Pakistan Vice Chairman Pakistan Bar Council President of the Supreme Court Bar Association Members of the Bar Ladies and Gentlemen Sir I have very mixed feelings to formally bid farewell to you as the Chief Justice of Pakistan. On the one hand, I am sad for you to leave as we will surely miss your pleasant sense of humor and abruptness with which you always kept us on our toes. And at some time, and at the same time, happy that you are leaving in good health and knowing that you'll be able to enjoy your lovely family. On a personal note, I have found you to be a good, caring human being. To some, this might sound strange, but let me share with you, ladies and gentlemen, if you meet, greet, and treat Justice Kazi Faizisa with a smile and humility, he will reciprocate with such gentle softness, politeness, and care that it will leave you astonished, if not shocked. But mind you, if you in any way provoke him, or if I may say so, poke the bear, <laughs> then even hell hath no fury to match his scorn. <laughs> and only God may help and save you. <laughs> Let me share a secret with you all today, <laughs> that I have faced such wrath of this bear many times. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the, let me tell you, the experience was not pleasant. <laughs> As a judge sharing the bench with Justice Kai Kazi Faiz Isa, I have learnt a lot. Where many like me would keep quiet and feel shy to openly admit that they are not clear about legal proposition, Justice Kazi Faiz Isa openly admitted that he would require the assistance of the worthy counsel. But when it came to the rights of women, and more particularly cases relating to their inheritance, oh, Justice, Faiz, Justice Kazi Faizisa would leave no bounds to ensure the preservation of their rights, and that too with the full might of the court. On a, lot, on a lighter note, while sharing the bench with Justice Kazi Faizisa during the first half of the court proceedings, I often felt sorry for those across the roster and at times had to salvage them from total devastation. But as the clock ticked past the half hour, the mood would change and we would have a compassionate listening judge who sat through the day till the last case on the cause list was heard and decided. But I must acknowledge that while sharing the bench with Justice Kazi Faizisa on many occasions, we had differences. But let me tell you, he was always ready to hear my point of view and on and was open to persuasion, a characteristic which very few possess. And one must strive to inculcate in ourselves. Now to my commitment, sir. This is a formal announcement that the farewell lunch today hosted by us in honor of Justice Kazi Faizisa is not on government expense. <laughs> He's been cruel. <laughs> he has imposed the entire expenses on me. However, I have requested my brother judges to share the brunt. So we are going to share the brunt, but we wanted to host a lunch for Kazi Saab and he was adamantly, stubbornly, I can't, he, it, he was in no mood to accept it. Finally, when we said we're going to commit ourselves, he has agreed. Now, as 
for what lies ahead. Let me assure all that with the blessings of Allah Almighty, for the citizens of Pakistan, rule of law shall rule. Principles of trichotomy of power shall prevail. Dignity of a judge and majesty of the court shall be strictly ensured. Be it a civil judge sitting in Buni Chitral or my brother judge sitting next to me today. The grievances of the bars shall be immediately attended to. Now I come to your request. It will be, it will be transgression on my part to commit any suggestions that you've made. But I promise you 11.30 Monday, if you come to my chamber, we will discuss it and hopefully we will pass appropriate orders. Okay. Now, immediate focus would have to be extended to the furthest districts. Jewani in Balochistan, Tank in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Ghotki in Sindh, and Sadiqabad in Punjab. I will pause here. You see, Peshawar, Lahore, Karachi, Quetta, they have the immediate attention of the high courts, the government. It is these furthest districts which deserve our attention and the best of the best judges should go because they deserve them more than anyone else. So the first priority would be, and I apologize, I had certain invitations uh, extended to me last night and I told them, I promise you, let me first handle these furthest districts and then inshallah I'll come. We move on. Immediate attention would have to be rendered on facilitating attendances of attendances and cases of women, children, and disabled. Finally, improving the justice delivery process, be it automation, alternative dispute resolution, better case management, or human resource development. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a Herculean task. Let me tell you, I had the taste of it for a short pie. And I tell you, this requires planning and patience from everyone. <clears throat> planning from our side and patience from your side. With the complete support of not only my brothers at the Supreme Court, the keen interest of the Chief Justices and the judges of the High Court and the District Judiciary, but most importantly, the complete confidence of the bar. May Allah Almighty render us all guidance and success in achieving this noble goal. Amen. Amen. Sir, in the end, with fondest of memories and with every good wish, I, on behalf of my colleagues, bid farewell to our very dear friend, our illustrious colleague, and our distinguished Chief Justice, Kazi Faizi, sir. It will be cruel on my part not to mention Serena Isa, wife of Justice Kazi Faizi, Seher Isa, the daughter, and his three loving grandchildren, Hana Lada, Sikandar Lada, Safia Lada, and I'm not going to forget Puddles, the poodle who kept us up during the summer afternoons. May Allah Almighty bless you and your family. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you.